Well, hello everybody, it's Leanne Graff with today's Facebook Live. Sorry for the late start, had a little bit of issues. And I believe, let's see, hopefully this, you can read this, this writing. I tried to reverse the screen and it didn't, didn't reverse for me. So let me know if you can read this, if the lettering is, is uh, correct or <laughs> if it's not. Um, yeah, the, it changed a little bit for me. The um, settings, as usual, Facebook just loves, or not Facebook, well, maybe Facebook. Maybe it's my phone. I don't know, but something changed. All right, so let's get started. So let me know if you're here, where you're from. If it's your first time here, too, be sure to chime in and let me know you're watching. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll get started with prizes. So last week's prizes were... A, an eight card kit. This was one of my free ca card kits last month for orders. And this is a set of uh, pattern dots or playing with patterns dots. So the person who shared and won this is Merle Taylor Chisholm. So congratulations, Merle. Thank you. So, and you're on. Good job. Thank you so much for sharing. So I messaged you asking for your mailing address so I can send this to you. I will also be sending you the directions to make the cards. All you need is greetings and basic ink colors. And the person who won the prize for commenting is Vicki Scheiber. So congratulations, Vicki. Thank you so much, both of you, for sharing and commenting. Now this week's uh, prizes are for... Uh, commenting, you get a share of the 1 8 inch metallic ribbon. This is in the annual catalog. And this was part of my in color share that I did back in probably April. So that I think it's a yard of each color. And this is the butterflies and flowers patterned masks. So these I'm not using them today. These were in last year's annual catalog. I don't even know if I used them more than once. So, um, so yeah, these are the pattern masks that you'll get for sharing this video. So yeah, help me get the word out, get other people to watch my videos and you'll get a prize if your name is drawn. <laughs> okay. So that's the, Prizes. A um, couple things for housekeeping. Tomorrow is the last day of celebration. So have you put your orders in to earn what you want to earn free? So th this ends tomorrow, August 31st. It's the last chance you have to get in on the free items. So if you're getting in colors, Christmas things, designer paper, maybe a bundle that you want. Why not do it in August so you get something free? Yeah, you're welcome, Merle. I'm so glad you're happy about getting your door prize. Awesome. So one thing to note, the, the silver foil um, on the extra celebration items and the Aspen tree dies are on low inventory. So they expect those to run out. The brushed metallic cardstock is already sold out, so those are not um, available. So, and in here, so far everything is good lately. The hippos are still, oh wait, I think I did see the hippo stamp set is not available. That's right. Um, Rings of Love is, the cards and envelopes are not, stylish sketches is, the gold and silver paper is, amazing phrases is, Tree lot dies are not, and the Wonderful World stamp set and paper are still available. So get those orders in if you haven't done it yet. Now something coming up starting, let's see, Thursday, September 1st, is the Perfect Partners promotion. This is the next <laughs> special that they'll be offering. Now, you can't get it yet. Demonstrators can. We can get these right now. So that's a perk. We always get to a month early um, of, usually of any of the promotions. So Apple Blossom, there's now dyes to go with the stamp set in the holiday catalog. Fresh Cut Flowers, now there's dyes to go with those. That's in the annual catalog. Um, Playful Piggy dyes will go, our brand new, go with the birthday piggy. 
and the waterfall dies. Now go with the uh, waterfall canyon. The tree trimming, let's see, trimming the tree stamp set now has dies and the Yeti, um, Yeti to party in the holiday catalog now has dies. So those start September 1st. So I'll be um, sharing that on my blog and on Facebook soon. Okay, and don't forget when you, if you want to join Stampin' Up! and get the 20% discount constantly, everything you order is 20% off. The hippos are available, Trina. Hmm, okay, I didn't realize that. Somebody had said they were not. I didn't see them on the list today. Thank you. Um, so you get this planner, you get all the inserts, you get three notebooks, you get the Making Plan stamp set, and this beautiful planner that has uh, a lot. It's like, it's a faux leather, kind of a vinyl, and has all the tabs, all the inserts, and some uh, adhesive stickers that you can use to decorate and, and create your planner. So that is free with joining as a, as a demonstrator. Now don't forget, as a demonstrator, you also get all of my free tutorials for all of my, I usually have about three to four tutorials a um, a month. Oh, the silver foil is gone, huh? I didn't see that, I just looked. It said it was on low inventory, but maybe I missed that. Um, the dies are gone, hmm, but the stamp's available. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess you won't know until you try and order. It changes by the minute, honestly, it really does. Um, so again, perks for being a demonstrator, did you know that you have 20% off all your orders? Your minimum requirement for order is $300 a quarter. So that means a hundred a month. However, remember that, um, first of all, you don't need your $300 minimum until December. When you, when you sign up now, your, all your orders, say you put a hundred dollar order in, in September, you need another $200 in, by the end of December. And so you say you put a hundred dollar order in, you get 20% off that order. So you're, you're spending 80, but Stampin' Up! counts the order as a hundred dollars. So we get our discount, but they count it as retail. So when you're, when you're ordering say 150, you're really only ordering 120 because you get 20% off every thing you order. So then they add tax and shipping on a demonstrator order. So it's really a double, Double good deal for demonstrators. Okay, we're gonna be playing, let's get to stamping now. We're gonna be playing with the Butterfly Kisses designer paper. This is so bright and colorful. One of my kits to go, actually we just, I just mailed them out yesterday, featured this paper. So they were a lot of fun folds. They're all different. We did do some fussy cutting because the butterflies there's a lot of butterflies that you can fussy cut and they're great accents for the cards. So these were some of the cards that they received and I still have, I think it's three of these left. They're on my shop, so flowerbookshop.com if you're interested. I love this one where you use the butterfly wings as the top of a present. Isn't that fun? So this kit to go includes $20 in products. So you get half a pack of the designer paper, you get the gems and you get some ribbon. So that is um, it's $20 in product and it's $28 for all the pre-cut cards and the product plus shipping. So when I was playing and making the cards today or yesterday, this is one of the cards I made, but I'm not going to share it because I've done shakers before. And I didn't want to take so much time, but I thought it turned out really cute. Um, one of the things I'm playing with also with the butterflies is the Charming Sentiments dies. So this is Lisa Curcio's uh, Million Dollar Stamp Set. And let me just, before I do that, this, let's finish talking about this. This is a neat fun fold that you just remove a portion of the bottom of the flap of this long card and then you add whatever you want to on the front. And so this is a shaker card made with our adhesive strips and window sheet. And I just add a bunch of oh, sequins and beads and things and cut out with the stitched frames dies and the deco dies to make a frame here. 
So a parakeet party, starry sky, and uh, polished pink. So it is, it's really, really a fun designer paper. Okay, let me talk a little bit before we move on about this bundle. So this bundle is photopolymer and the dies are meant to die cut. As you can see, here is this one right here. They die cut around, let's see, where is that one right? Right here, oh, <laughs> I lost it. Oh, it's, it's out, sorry, it's in my in my magnet on my Big Shot, but they're my die cutting machine. But what I decided to do so I could find which one, because it doesn't make a lot of sense when you're looking at just the dies. It's like, well, which one does this go to? And so what I did is I took the stamps and pre inked them just on, um, actually what I did, let me show you. Pretend these, this is not there. I took the stamp and laid it on top of the die cut. And I took the other one and laid that on top of the die cut. And then I just inked my my ink. Inked all the all the dies were here, or all the, the other three were on here as well. And then I stamped. The only and so then I stamped it on a piece of Whisper White. If I were to do it again, I would not stamp on Whisper White. I would stamp on copy or, or um, copy paper because I have a magnet under here. This is a magnet sheet from the hardware store. I just get them in bulk, um, not bulk, but I five sheets to a pack. They're in the heating and cooling. They're used to cover vents, vent covers, vent magnet covers is what these are. Um, the candle dies. Oh, good question, Joan. Sorry. The candle dies. Oh, it's missing, but it, <laughs> it is right in here. It should be right there. So there's a, a flame and a candle, but it's over in my magnet over there. So that they are from this set. So anyway, once I stamped on there, I glued them onto my magnets. If you can see, glued that whisper white onto my magnets, and then I put these back on. The only problem is they are reversed. So when you're cutting, they look like that, but I don't want to put them on my magnets that way because they don't stick as well as when they're turned over flat. They stay um, when they're flat much better than if I were to um, put them the other way. So this was my way of, so you can kind of see if I turn that, that matches but they don't stick as well. So that's my solution to um, knowing what die is what on here. Okay, so a little, oops, little, little hint on if you want to keep them straight. And I know some people will put their magnets right inside their case. So this is the magnet sheet. They glue it right in there. And even if there's double, they, they can, they'll have one, um, just laying in there. So that's their solution to keeping their bundles together. I don't, I don't know why. Um, sometimes I use them for other things. In this case, I might not, but um, so I just store them right inside the case. And then I, let's close that. I rubber band them together. That's how I do it, and so I can see what they are and that they're a bundle in my, my drawers. So that's how I do that. Yeah, that's that's a good idea too, Linda. I drew around it. What hardware are you asking, Diane? It's vent covers. That is the magnet sheets that I use for my, my dies. They're in the vent cover section of... Um, oh, what store? I use Menards, but they're, they sell them everywhere. Just Menards is our go-to <laughs> for everything. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start with, <coughs> excuse me, get a drink here. Okay, we're gonna start with probably the easiest card there is. And I'll show you my inspiration. <laughs> An old card that I did. Um, that I think actually this was a swap. So I love this card because it uses a whole piece of designer paper. This one's a little busy to me. Um, I think I would have used maybe a bigger circle. The, the penguin gets a little bit lost, but I love how 
the designer paper is the front of the card and you really use a, a good amount of it. So my version is this here. So this is uses the butterfly paper, a little bit extra in there if you want to. Um, so let's get started with that. I have the measurements right here for you. So it's a super easy card. I think we're going to start stamping first. Now in this case, I'm stamping directly onto my circle. This circle is from the Stylish Shapes dies and um, they are currently unavailable. They have been very popular. They're one of my favorites. It's stitched circles, frame, or circles, squares, and banners. And I'm using Starry Sky ink. And we're just gonna stamp right on here, kind of low, so I have room for my butterfly. Okay, there's that. And close up the ink, and I, Oh, I did, and I didn't stamp on the inside of this one, so. All right, and I did do a little fussy cutting. So the measurements are here. They are, since the a normal standard A2 card is four and a quarter, you just add one inch. So this is five and a quarter, and uh, five and a half tall, so. All right. We're going to add, just make sure that this fits. This is three quarter inch. Had a little bit of trouble with my glue. There we go, earlier. Okay. And this butterfly paper is so bright and happy. If you like um, butterflies and or bright, happy cards, this one's gonna be for you. Isn't that pretty cute? So position this in place, get all your edges even, and open that up and add either paper, uh, glue to the other side or to the designer paper. There's our card front. Isn't that fun? So I'm, gonna just, I'm not gonna stamp the inside, I'll just add it with glue. And I'm not gonna add that extra designer paper to this one. I don't know why. I didn't prep it. So then we're going to add um, ribbon to this. So this gets a little bit tricky, especially doing it on video because um, things don't always go easily. I'm gonna just slide this down a little bit, do a quick knot. And I'm gonna get my reverse tweezers out and clamp that as soon as I can get that tight. There we go. Then I can tie my bow without having to hold that ribbon. Let's reverse that and finish tying the knot. Isn't that neat? Love those reverse tweezers. Those are in the um, embossing kit in the holiday catalog. You get a, I'm just going to slide this over as far as I can, kind of, and I also do need to trim this. As you can see, I like to leave my ribbon together. I didn't waste a bit while doing that bow. Yeah, the reverse tweezers hold, hold things wherever you want them. Like they're great for, say, embossing because you don't have to get hot. This, they're ceramic and I don't know, plastic on the end or something like that? I'm not sure. Okay, so this is gonna get popped up. Add my dimensionals. And I'm just going to, I, I'm really good at snipping. Just give myself some dimensionals here. I like to use my edges. And I want this low so the bow is kind of part of the greeting. Is that straight? And then the butterfly can be up here. Oh, wait a minute. 
I found a butterfly that matches that paper, so I'm definitely going to use that. And just a little bit of adhesive right there. And there we go. This could be used inside the card. In fact, that was my plan. Look how well that matches. Cute, right? Which one do you like? The one with the yellow or the one with the Calypso Coral? So cute. Well, oh, I didn't even add my gems. So these are the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. Aren't they neat? They are, you get a share of these in the kit to go that I had mentioned. But yeah, they come with all the, the colors. Well, not all maybe, but most of the colors in this designer paper. Isn't that just cute? They're matched, they're flowers, they're fun. Um, so yeah, you can add a few of those. You can add them anywhere. But I think... We will add one here and add, oh, there's no green on this one. I'm going to skip the green, do a yellow and there we go. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Do you like the clips of coral? It is more, um, I don't know, less colors. This has, I think all the colors in it and this has, this is missing the green. Well, actually there is a little bit of green in there, but anyway. Cute cards and the butterflies, you know, even though you have the little antenna, they're not that bad to fussy cut. Honestly, I can do it in about five minutes. Well, no, I should say one minute. They're, they're quite fast. Okay. All right. So the next card we're going to do, hmm, yeah, I think we'll do this one. I have three, three different fun folds. And this one's kind of funny because I kind of messed up on it, but um, it's interesting. <laughs> You'll see uh, what I did here. So this is a different kind of a fun fold where it's where it's kind of inside the layers. It's less than it's just a smaller uh, portion of your cardstock as the fold. So how I messed up in this card was that I. Um, I used a lot of different things, but so for the little dots here and the embellishment on the butterfly, and I had the snowfall accents on my desk, and I thought I was using the pearlized enamel effects. So I set it aside to dry overnight, and when I came out this morning, it was clear, and I'm like, what happened? Why is it clear? So I did it again on top. And then I looked at the bottle and it was snowfall accents instead of pearlized because this is what it should have looked like. It should have shown up white. So I'm going to use this on the card that I made today instead of um, the snowfall accents. So I had to go and heat it and it didn't stay white. I didn't heat it as long as I, I thought I would do it less so it wouldn't puff up. Well, then it got kind of clear again and so anyway I'm going to do it right and I'll take pictures and share but um, so that is the pearlized enamel dots and did you know I shared this the other day um, that if you do um, add this to a silicone mat or uh, some of the paper from your mini glue dots they are removable they come off and you can stick them on wherever you want of course you'd have to use glue because they're not going to be sticky, but you can make your own accented dots with this just by putting them on either something um, that doesn't stick, like silicone or shiny paper or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to use that in a little bit. <laughs> so for this card, um, I use quite a few dies. Here we have the stylish shapes circles. We have the um, Stitch with Whimsy. I don't know if you can see the accents on the sides, the little stitched frame. Love these dies. Hi, Cheryl. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for telling me that you're new. Oh, not those dies. And then the Butterfly, Build, build a Butterfly dies. So I'm using this one on this card, and on the card I'm going to make today, I'll use this one. These are the only full butterflies in here. The rest are builders. They have the insides, the wings, the, the um, 
Well, let me show you this card right here. So this is the one, the wings that I used uh, to make a gift on right here and here. So yeah, fun. Okay, so those are some of the dies that I used. All right, so the measurements are here, so you can write them down and get my parts and pieces out. Okay, so there isn't any stamping because I already did it. So I did stamp that woohoo from the Charming Sentiments. And um, yeah, I have my butterfly die cut already. I like to save as much time as I can. I also did do the stitched dies. <laughs> Linda, you're so funny. Well, yeah, you know, there's no, it's like a friend told me, there's no mistakes in rubber stamping, just a change of plans. So that's, that's her motto. She is adamant that we don't have to call it a mistake. We can just change our plan. But yeah, it's not bad, but I think it'll be much better with the pearlized um, accents here. Okay, we'll add this. and center this. Get it a little more even. That's why I like the liquid glue because I can slide this and make it even. So it doesn't have to um, be lifted and moved and lifted and moved. It can just slide. But if you have trouble with too much glue or with, um, with glue leaking, it just means that you have too much. And I don't, I don't think you have to have glue at the very edge. As you can see, I can still lift up my edge, but if I wanted to, I could add more glue there. But I don't go to the outside edges. I go about a quarter of an inch in. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to add some designer paper here and add this a little bit low. Now this butterfly is a lot bigger, so he's probably... I think first what I'm going to do is add some mini dimensionals to my woohoo. This could be a birthday card. This could be a congratulations card. It could be even a thank you. Woohoo, thanks so much. So let's see, I'm going to go. What I like to do is do this and then I my scissors and then I just move over and I have the same angle. So to fit this all on, and I kind of like a little bit hanging off. So I'll just add some glue there. And add some glue here. I only add it to the center because I want his wings to lift up, his or her. Okay, now. Last thing, I always tell people whenever you're doing any um, special um, effects or like crystal effects we used to have or enamel effects is to do it last. You don't want to and do shake it. <laughs> and so then you want to set it in a place where you're not going to put something over the top of it. So I'm going to put little dots. Now this, this is quite liquidy. So just little dots. Oh. Oh, and that had a little bubble. Well, thank you very much. That's probably what I get for shaking it so much. Little dots all the way around. And now I'm going to have to make that one a little bit bigger. Now I want to make a little loop-de-loo. <laughs> Come on, you. Okay. That one's not big enough. Well, I'm having a little bit of trouble today. Yesterday was so much easier. Of course, I was using the wrong thing, wasn't I? You wanna take your time and try not to, sorry, this is taking a little bit longer just because I don't want those, those tails. Have to kind of go up and let it release. They will get smooth as they go. As they dry. Go 
Okay, not too bad. Little bit of a loop there, but I cannot touch anything more here until it dries. And I would say this dries um, I, maybe 20 minutes. So it'll look better than my puffy puff paint there. So it'll stay white, it'll stay shiny. There we go, that's that card. And I'm gonna put this way over there so I don't <laughs> get anything on it. All right, so the last card is super fun. This is an old um, an old design of, of fun fold. So see how the front of the card, so it's a standard a four and a quarter by five and a half card. But if you add an extra score, let me get my measurements here for you, an extra score at one and a half, and then that folds back, and then your designer paper makes up the rest of that area. So how this works is you take a piece of designer paper, and you need to have it five and a quarter tall and six inches across. So when you're using uh, designer six by six, you're only losing three quarters of an inch, which you can use if you want to on a card like this. So no waste, no waste. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna move this away just so I can get my paper trimmer in here. I'm sorry, I have to do it facing me. I know it's upside down for you, but otherwise I know I'll mess up. Okay, um, let me get my notes so I can remember. This is... I think I wrote scored, didn't I? This is, in, oh, that's right, scored. Cut, okay, two and three quarters. So the first cut is at two and three quarters. So there's two, here's our three quarters. Okay, next cut, one and one eighth. Actually, that's only two cuts, so there's our one. Now remember, when you're doing measurements, so here's one, here's two, so half of that is one and a half, a quarter is one and a quarter, and between one and a quarter is an eighth. So that's what I'm going for, is that eighth. And I always look down at my other, to make sure it's straight all the way across. Okay, that's all we have to do, and see how we made a pattern. So that is exactly what I have here. I've been the same pattern because they are, it's the same sheet. So I'm gonna do different colors just to do something different. I have the other one already done. So this is such a quick card and super easy. Okay, my bone you need to make sure, and it does take um, a little extra I like to do more bone folding than normal. So there's the inside of the card. There's our tag and those, where did I put those dies? I was gonna show you. Yeah, the, these are the tailor-made tags dies, this one right here. So there's that. So these are fun dies with holes in them. They already have some fasteners amongst the, the dies. So lots of versatility here, lots of width and whatnot, so. Okay, all right, so let's get our pieces in order. I'm gonna try and do it your way. Whoops, upside down. All right. Sorry, covering up measurements. Okay, so when you put your adhesive on, you're going to just put adhesive on this little flap. But remember now, you're going to add your paper this way. Totally uh, different from what we normally would do. Um, okay, all right, then open your card up and that piece will go here. I mean, you could use any paper, but I think the fun of this design, I have to make sure this is the correct way, is that it makes a large print. So I think that this card is perfect for paper that has a scene or something happening in it. 
Yeah. So, oops. Okay, make sure this is the right way. Isn't that neat how it creates its own uh, scene? And then the last piece is the white that you will add and uh, the measurement is on there. I think it is one and three quarter by five and a quarter. And you can, of course, if you're stamping on it, I would always recommend stamping first. Okay, so here's our tag. And I did stamp, this one I did a smaller and did a just for you. And that is, again, from the Charming Sentiments. And then I have two, two butterflies. And I think I'm going to do the one with a little bit more of the blue in it because it pops. Okay. And if I do add, I'll show you a little trick. I'm going to add my um, dimensionals off to the side a little bit because when you add your, your gems, they won't be where the dimensionals will be. So little little tip, and that does not enlarge, I guess I only need, well, maybe I'll use two, that does not enlarge your, or uh, make your card any thicker. So that's what I love about not using dimensionals where you're going to have the gems. Okay, oh, and I didn't bring my ribbon. Well, let's use, we'll use the Starry Sky because it doesn't, I don't have the Fresh Freesia on this one. So cut off a little length of it. And the trick to doing a ribbon in a tag, let me explain that, is that you fold the ribbon in half, then you put your fold through the front. So fold through the front. I like to um, remind people how to remember that is they're both Fs. Fold front, fold through the front. And then you just do that and you get that perfect um, little um, knot on the top. It's not as apparent on this skinny little ribbon. Now, if you're having trouble making it stay, you can add a mini glue dot, although it's a little bit tricky because I don't want this to be sticky on the back. So I'm gonna fold it in half a little bit and kind of, this ribbon is so thin, kind of insert it inside the knot somewhat. There we go, it's hidden, but it stays, okay? So then just add this wherever you want to on the front of your card. But don't go all the way across the because you're hanging some out. So make sure that's even. And then we will get our, our fun gems out. I can find them. I'm gonna use use this up before I get new. Alright, so what's gonna show up? I think the blue will show up in the center here. So now I don't have double thicknesses there where those gems are. Thanks, Linda, I'm glad you like it. So yeah, this butterfly paper is so fun. Um, just bright, happy cards that um, I, I suppose maybe they wouldn't be as much for men, but there are some other patterns that are not flowery and butterfly filled. So I think you could easily use these for men's, for fun men's cards too. Okay, so I do have more cards to show you. Here are some of the other cards. Let's see what my pearlized effects look like. I'm not even gonna test it because I don't think I gave it, I can touch it, but I wouldn't put any pressure on it. But yeah, there are so, so much prettier than that snowfall accents that I thought was my pearlized effects. So there are the cards from today that we did. So the butterfly ones, I don't wanna lay anything on there. That's such a dangerous thing to even play with that. <laughs> I like to just put it across. Yeah, this is so striking, isn't it? The, the bright starry sky is one of my favorite blues. It's just gorgeous. 
Okay, all right, so that's the projects for today, but I, I am going to start holding my um, Christmas card classes. And last year I offered them to go, so that might be of interest to some of you who like pre-cut kits. So I thought I'd share with you some of the cards that I've made already, and I know Christmas seems so early for some of us. I'm not really ready for Christmas either. So here is one of them. Now, remember that when you get the, the pre-cut kits, nothing is stamped. I give you the ribbon, the die cuts, the paper, but you need to stamp your own. I just think that's a lovely card. So this is a quite simple one that is done um, with some of the new vellum. And this is one of our wonderful snowflakes. So I'm just going to kind of pile these up so you can see them. Here's one with the new snowman um, dies. Um, so there's a snowman there and the frame. So I always do the inside. You get pictures of all the cards, the inside, the outsides, the um, it includes everything. So again, this one, would you'd receive that die. All the paper in, is included. The die cuts, though, like for this one, are not stamped. So you would need to stamp or do, do that on your own. They're not textured either. But there'll be more details in, um, in the post when I share that. So this one is a beautiful one with the Peace to You stamp set. Here's one, and I'm missing his bow. I have to cut, uh, punch out a glitter bow, but that is um, the Scotty Christmas, Christmas Scotty dog. And here's one with the Jingle 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 stamp set. Isn't that cute? Bright colors. I love the package uh, layout there. And here's another one with, I don't remember the name of this bundle, but um, yeah, that's embossed with silver embossing powder. So those are some of the cards that will be included in the upcoming kits to go for Christmas. And you get three of each. So each kit has 12 cards. So details will be on my blog later this week and on Facebook too, because I'll create a, an event or a, a kit to go. And they will be on my flowerbugshop.com too. So while supplies last, they will be on there. Okay, all right, I think that's it. And just a reminder, don't forget, if you haven't ordered from Celebration yet, get that order in so you um, so you can get free product while you can. All right, thanks so much. I will see you next week, Tuesday. All right, bye-bye.